Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's grammar topic is subordinators. But first, let's understand the basic concept. Conjunctions can be classified into two types. First type, coordinating conjunctions. They are also called as coordinators. And the second type is subordinating conjunctions. They are also called as subordinators. In today's video, we will be learning about subordinators. Read this sentence. He passed the exam because he worked hard. This sentence contains two clauses. The first clause is he passed the exam. It is the main clause or independent clause. The second clause is because he worked hard. This clause is depending on the main clause for its meaning. Therefore, this clause is called as the dependent clause or subordinate clause. And since this conjunction introduces the dependent or subordinate clause, this conjunction is called as subordinating conjunction or in simple words, it is called as the subordinator. Subordinating conjunction or subordinator can be defined as the conjunction which joins the subordinate clause to the main clause. Friends, as we saw over here, this subordinate clause is joined to the main clause by this subordinator or subordinating conjunction because. Now, we'll understand the types of subordinators. There are in all eight types of subordinators and they are first subordinator of time for example before after till until since when and while for example you wait till i return here till is the subordinator of time second i returned home after the sun had set here after is the subordinator of time expressing time second type subordinator expressing cause or reason they are because since and as for example i brought sweets since you like them here since is the subordinator of cause or reason and the dependent clause serves as a reason as a cause. That is why we use the subordinator of cause or reason. Next, the third type of subordinator that is subordinator of purpose and that is so that. For example, we eat so that we may live. Here the dependent clause serves as a purpose and therefore we use the subordinator of purpose that is so that. Friends, remember, so and that are together. There is not a single word in between them or which separates them. Fourth type of subordinator and that is subordinator of result or consequence. That is given by so that. So there may be one word or more than one word between so and that. And there is a difference between this so that and the previous so that of purpose. There is a subordinator of purpose. So, let's take an example showing subordinator of result. He was so tired that he couldn't stand. So here, so that is a subordinator of result. And the dependent clause, friends, serves as a result or a consequence. The action happens in the main clause. The result or consequence happens in the dependent clause. The fifth subordinator is a subordinator of condition and it is given by if, unless and provided. For example, I will dismiss you if you are late again. Here if is a subordinator of condition. The dependent clause is a condition for the main clause to occur. That means the main clause will happen only if there is a condition in the dependent clause. Next, 
is subordinator of concession or contrast. It is given by though, although. For example, he is honest, although he is poor. Here, although is a subordinator of concession or contrast. Friends, he is honest, he is poor. Both contrast each other. That is why we use the subordinator of contrast. Friends, for your information, I have made an exclusive video on use though although. Do watch the video. I have put the link of the video in the description box. Seventh subordinator is a subordinator of comparison by as and than. For example, he is smarter than his elder brother. Your than is a subordinate of comparison and friends, a comparison takes place between the main clause and the dependent clause. And finally, the eighth type of subordinator that is the subordinate of extent or manner and it is given by as. The example is men will reap as they sow. Your as is the subordinator of extent and the dependent clause shows how the main clause happens. Now friends, it's activity time in order to understand the concept. Fill in the blanks with appropriate conjunctions. First, make hay dash the sun shines. While or before? Here, while makes sense. So, the subordinator while is appropriate. Make hay while the sun shines. Second, he will pass dash he works hard. He works hard is the reason. So we will use the subordinator of reason that is because. Next, he works dash he may earn money. He may earn money is the purpose for him to work. So we will use the subordinator of purpose that is so that. I was dash tired dash I fell asleep. Here the main clause is the reason and the subordinate clause is the result. Therefore, we will use the subordinator of result that is so that. Next, I will go to the party dash I am invited. Here the dependent clause is the condition for the main clause to happen, to occur. So, we will use the subordinator of condition that is if. Sixth, I will not do it dash it is easy. Have you noticed both the clauses contrast each other and therefore we will use the subordinator of contrast that is though or although. Next, the cheetah is faster dash the tiger. Here a comparison is made and therefore we will use the subordinator of comparison that is than. Next, you will understand the world dash you grow. Here the dependent clause shows the manner in which the main clause will happen and therefore we will use the subordinator of manner that is as. So friends, this was the video on subordinators. I hope it helped you. Thank you for watching this video. Do like, share and subscribe. Bye.